Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself. Today we're going to talk about how to allow users to define custom product pricing using the pricing method field. So this is our basic CPQ quote line editor layout. And you can see here we've got all the necessary information as it stands. But to give your sales reps more flexibility and control over the product pricing, we're going to give them the ability to change the pricing method. But to start off, we have to make sure the quote line editor field set contains the list unit price, customer unit price, and pricing method fields. So let's go ahead and do that. We've already got the list unit price here. So we're going to go ahead and edit the object quote line in the field sets. Go line editor. So here the ones we are missing are the customer unit price and the pricing method field. Click save. We'll go back to our quote and we'll quick save to refresh our quote line. And now you can see we've got the pricing method field, the list unit price and the customer unit price. Everything we need to give them the ability to change the pricing method. So we'll go to the product we want to give them the ability to change this on which is right here, and click edit. So we have to make sure the pricing method, method editable checkbox is true. Click save. And now let's see how this acts in our quote line editor. Okay, I'm gonna delete that product. I'm gonna add the product we were just looking at, which is the keyboard Bluetooth wireless. Now you can see that this product has a list that's editable on the pricing method column. So the unit price column is not editable and the list price is not editable. So we'll go over the pricing method list and we'll get to choose custom. This will give your sales reps the ability to provide the exact price that they quoted with over the phone, for instance. So quick save to refresh the page. And now you can see our customer unit price is editable. So once we click into it, we can actually type in the amount of money that was agreed. So calculate. Now you can see our net unit price is reflective of this new custom customer unit price. This is helpful to showcase the original price. Uh, for instance, if your quote has the recommended retail price pulling from the list price column, and then the discounted price provided to the customer pulling from the customer unit price column. So it definitely showcases the original price, it doesn't give them the ability to change the list price, but we're talking about how to change the pricing method to custom. Thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself with me at Pacey.